everyone, Caitlin from SOA. Thanks for joining us. Um, tonight we're doing some mindfulness with Hansel and Brie. Um, so I'll turn it over to them in a couple of seconds here, but please remember that we're gonna do questions at the end. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or hang on to them to the end and then we'll be happy to answer them for you, okay? So I'm super excited to turn it over to Brie and Hansel. Awesome. Thanks, Caitlin. Um, yeah, hi, everyone. Welcome. Well, thanks for joining us. And I know I have seen most of you from our previous groups or from our previous peak program that uh, we helped out with. Um, so Bree and I will be doing um, our mindfulness session tonight. Um, well, we're going to do a little bit of stretching as well at the start. Um, so we'll do a little bit of intro, Caitlin, if that's okay. Awesome. So as most of you know, so my name is Hansel. I work for the Enhanced Lab. Um, and I'm really excited about this group. I've met lots of you virtually, of course. So really happy to be here again and being able to do this program with everyone. Um, yeah, so nice to meet you. And hopefully we can chat a little bit at the end with everyone as much as, as possible, I can, I guess. Um, yeah, so I will let Bree sort of take over and then um, she'll get us started for our first practice. Hey guys, so my name's Bree. Um, I also work at the Enhanced Lab, so I work closely with Hansel. And I actually haven't done one of these before. So when the opportunity came about, um, I love Special Olympics. So I was really excited. And so I'm super stoked to be here tonight. Um, so let's jump into things and um yeah so let's just jump into things so we're gonna take it easy tonight it's gonna be a quieter session i don't know what you guys are used to but like hansel said it's gonna be some stretching and mindfulness which actually are two of my favorite things so we're gonna do a full body stretch so I'm going to try and explain this stretch and I'll also model it, but Hansel is also going to model it. So if you're unsure, then look at one of us and hopefully, uh, hopefully it's easy to figure it out. And if it's not, then you can just quickly type something in the chat and you can work on it. So we're going to start with our neck um, and we're going to use our hand to just gently push our neck towards our shoulders, but there should be no pain. And if it is painful, then that means that you've gone too far. So you just wanna go lighter um, and you don't wanna to have too much pressure in that hand, but enough that you feel it right around here and it should feel good. So typically you can hold stretches up to like 40 seconds. Sometimes my, people might do it for a minute. Today, we're gonna to do about 20, 25 seconds. I'll make sure my timer is going so we don't hold it for too long. Okay, so that should kind of feel nice. So you might want to release that stretch, kind of move your neck around, and then we're going to do it on the opposite side. So again, just gently using your hand, you're going to push your, your neck and you're not too hard. Again, you should feel no pain. It should feel quite nice. Nice. So we'll do hold it for 10 more seconds. Right, so that was a good neck stretch. So if you guys have been kind of on a computer or your neck's been kind of hunched over, that's a nice way to release any tension that's built up over the day. So let's start with our um, upper body or let's move into our upper body. We're gonna start with our shoulders. So you're gonna take one hand and you're gonna gently push it across your chest. So it looks something like this. And again, there should be no pain. Oh, and I see some athletes are going like this. And I like that way, actually. It's a little bit less, less work on your hand. And when you do this, you kind of want to have a straight spine. You don't want to be hunched over if you can help it. If it's something you got to do, that's okay. Nice. Okay. So we can shake that out. Let's move to the next side. And again, we'll hold it for about 25 seconds. 
Nice, and I see all of you guys doing it. Everybody's doing a great job. Perfect. So sometimes I just like shaking it out after a stretch because then you really feel that like tension release. I don't know about you guys. So now we're going to stretch something called our tricep, which you might know is this muscle here. So you're going to bend your elbow like this and using your opposite hand, you're going to gently push down on it. So you feel that stretch right here. And again, I want to emphasize there should be no pain. If you're feeling pain, that means that you're pushing too hard. So loosen that up. And I see some people are just joining. No worries. So we're just starting a stretch. We haven't started our mindfulness yet. So shake it out. And now you guys should know we're going to do the opposite side. So as you know, as Special Olympic athletes, special Stretching is really important because it prevents injuries. So we always want to stretch before a workout and after a workout. And the stretches we do differ a little bit, whether it's before or after a workout. So now we're going to move on to our lower body. And if some of you can't stand or if you're in a wheelchair, that's completely okay. So Hansel is going to do the ones standing up. And um, while he does that, I'm also going to explain what you might do if you're in a wheelchair, if you don't want to stand up. So this is called a pelvic stretch. Nice. Hansel's on spotlight. This is great. Um, and he's going to lift his leg up. And if you need to, you can actually hold the wall. But if you're in a chair, you can just lift your leg as high as you can and just kind of bring it closer to you. And that is completely okay. So kind of like this, as you can see. I see some of you guys doing it, which is great. And you guys know the drill, so now we got to do it on the other side. Great. We got five more seconds, and then we're going to move on to our very last stretch. And then Hansel is going to take it away with some cool mindfulness techniques. So this is a quad stretch and Hansel's going to show us, he's going to lift his um, leg up behind him. And sometimes it's really helpful to hold on to a wall if it's a little difficult. Now, if you can't do that and you're sitting in a chair, you can just lift your legs up and pull your toes closer to you. So you kind of feel that stretch right here. And you can do one leg at a time. Awesome job. Now let's switch to the other side. And you can see how Hansel's using the wall because that sometimes helps us balance. So I really feel this. Awesome. Okay. And then sometimes I like just like shaking it all out, get all that tension nice. And that takes us to the end. So maybe before we jump into mindfulness, if anybody wants to type in the chat, how they feel, if they feel a little bit more relaxed, if their muscles feel less tense, if you enjoyed it, if you hated it. Somebody said they feel good. So that's great, fun, enjoyed it. So these are stretches you can do also throughout the day, especially if maybe you feel a lot of tension built up. Um, it's a nice way to just release some tension. And I see Chris had pasta and salad. Guess what, Chris? I had pasta too, and it was delicious. But I'll stay on topic and I'll lead it back to Ansel because I could talk about food for a very long time. Awesome. Thanks, Bree. That was great. That definitely, I feel more relaxed, like you said. Um, so awesome. Wonderful, everyone. We're going to now practice 
um, some breathing exercises. So the nice thing um, with breathing exercises is that it's a way for us to feel calmer and feel relaxed sometimes. And this is because we get to focus on our breath rather than focusing on our thoughts and thoughts that control us sometimes. So we're gonna do two different exercises and um, we're gonna start with the lotus breathing or the lotus breath, which I'm sure a lot of you may, may be um, are familiar with as we've done the mindfulness program before or from our past peak programs. But the nice thing is that the lotus breath can be done sort of anywhere. So similar like what Bree said, you can do them in the morning, throughout the day, or even before bedtime, which is kind of nice. Um, and the nice thing about the lotus breath too, is that we get to look at a visual. So we're gonna be using our hands. So we're gonna imagine that our hand is sort of like a flower or a lotus that opens during the day and closes at night. So you can visualize it in your head or you can look at your hand as you do it. So you can open it and close. So now as we breathe in, we can open our hands, breathe in. And as you breathe out, we can close our hands. Want to try that again, breathe in and breathe out. And the nice thing with this too, is if you want to close your eyes, you can just visualize that flower opening and closing. So I think we are ready to start. So if we want to slowly open our hands while we breathe in and slowly closing it as you breathe out, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. We want to do this a few more times. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And now this time we're going to try breathing in and saying to ourselves, I am happy. And as you breathe out, saying, I am calm. Breathe in, I am happy. Breathe out, I am calm. Breathing in, I am happy. Breathing out, I am calm. Breathing in, I am happy. Breathing out, I am calm. Breathing in, I am happy. Breathing out, I am calm. Breathing in and breathing out. Now, if you had your eyes closed, I want you to slowly open them when you're, when you're ready and bring your attention back to our session, feeling more relaxed than you were before. Okay, and when we are ready, you can join us again. Will we talk about how that felt? Did anyone sort of feel that in their bellies as they were breathing in and out? How did that feel for everyone? You can put your hands up or you can share in the chat function, um, whatever you're comfortable with. Tara said it was good, that's awesome. Oh, there's lots of them coming in. So it felt great for Danielle. Awesome, really good and relaxing. That's great. Did anyone um, have any sort of difficulty paying attention to their breath? Yeah. And did anyone notice 
which nostril you were breathing in from. Was it your left or your right? This is also a good way for us to be aware of our bodies. It's relaxing, yeah. That's awesome to hear, Chrissy. So good, you needed that, that's awesome. So good, perfect. So I think we're ready for our next practice. Does that sound okay with everyone? Yeah, great. So this next practice, it's very similar. And it's also a breathing exercise. This one is called a figure eight breath. So once again, the really nice thing with this practice is that we have a visual component to it. So you can keep your eyes closed or you can have them open. But if you are keeping them open, we're gonna use our pointer fingers and we're gonna draw a circle right in front of us. So just a sideways circles like this. And then now, as we slowly go through one loop, we're gonna breathe in. And then as we go through the other one, we're gonna breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And you can keep going at your own pace. Some of you will go faster. Some of you may go slower, but really picture your finger moving through space as you breathe in and breathe out. And as you would breathe in, you wanna focus on breathing through your nose and we're breathing out through your mouth. And we're gonna do five more of these. So if you are closing your eyes, you can slowly close them. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And with your other hand, you can place it on your chest and feel your chest rise and fall as you breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Allowing yourself to feel calmer and more relaxed as you breathe in and breathe out. Now, if your eyes were closed, you can open them whenever you're ready and bring your attention back to your session. And if they're open, you can just sit in and wait while everyone joins us. Once again, feeling more calm and relaxed than we were before. Perfect. Does anyone want to share how that was for everyone? If you want to put your hand up um, or you can uh, use the chat function as well. Yeah. So Miranda, I Miranda has a question. That felt amazing for me. That's awesome. That's great to hear. I needed yeah. that with the heat. Yeah. It just, it, it just relaxes me. It's very hot. Awesome. That's so good to hear. Awesome. Thanks, Miranda. Oh, we got a few coming in. So we'll go Laura. Um I would say it felt amazing too. I love the figure eight and it felt very, very calming. I do agree the heat is a big thing this week because you we all got to stay stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Gotta drink lots of water. That's right. 
It's because tomorrow is going to be 31 and 32 degrees. That's going to be a really hot day. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing, Laura. Perfect. I'll let Alex go. I got a question for you, Hanzo. Yes, Alex, go ahead. Uh, question is, uh, I know you you just started working for like uh, that children with, with autism. Is I think what it is. Yeah. So kind of like uh, where you just work as a behavior therapist. Yeah. Did you have a question about the mindfulness session? We can chat towards the end if you'd like. Yeah, but sure. You. Awesome. Sounds good, Alex. So I'll let Tara and we'll do Lori and then uh, we'll move on to our next practice. Does that sound okay with everyone? Awesome. It made me relaxed. That's great to hear, Tara. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Yeah, awesome. Perfect. Thanks for sharing. And Lori. Oh, man. It's welcome back. Thanks. To peak number three. That's right. <clears throat> Holy, today was so crazy. It was so busy at my work. I've never seen my work like that in my whole life. And I swear, I'm going on cart strike. Mm -hmm. And did the mindfulness help today with oh, it some of that? A lot. I remember something. I remember in peak one and two, you guys talked about um, the figure eight, the lotus, and the mug. Awesome. Yeah, those are some of the ones we've done in the past. And I, I think that will be a nice way for a little segue to our next question. So what did people, people prefer? Did we like the lotus breath? Did we like the figure eight? We can use the chat function or maybe give me a thumbs up for the figure eight. And yeah, Jordan, that's awesome. Kayla liked both of them. Perfect. Yeah. So these are some practices that we can do, like I said, whenever we have some time. So these are good sometimes um, to relax before bed or whenever we're done our exercises. I know all of you are super active with the PEAK program. So this is also a way for us to be active with our, for our minds. So it's a good practice for us to do too. Yeah, so there's lots of, lots of comments so we can get them towards a little bit later on. So now we're gonna do our next part, which uh, Bree is gonna be leading and um, we will also do some questions afterwards if you have any more questions and we can chat there. Does that sound okay with everyone? Awesome. Wow, Hansel, that was great. Thank you so much. I feel much more relaxed. So the cool thing about mindfulness is that it actually doesn't have to happen when we're just sitting down. We can also do it walking, we can do it lying down. We can do it sitting down. So that's what I really like about mindfulness because that means that I can take it with me anywhere I go. Um, so today we're going to actually do, we're going to end our session with a walking meditation. So as athletes, um, something cool that I thought you might want to know if you don't know already is a lot of actually uh, professional athletes will use mindfulness. So they find that athletes who use mindfulness can actually perform better. So if they sit there and they visualize their movements or they really feel their movements, it helps enhance their performance. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to do something that we call a walking meditation. Now I want to recognize that maybe not everybody can walk. So if you do have an issue with that, um, or you're in a wheelchair, this can be a exercise for you as well. So we can modify it throughout. Um, so I think that's it. So exactly what we're going to do is we're going to be really aware of our bodies as we move. So we're going to feel it in our legs and our feet. Um, and if you're in a small space, that's completely okay. You just need about three steps that you can take um, forward and three steps back. Um, or you can go a little bit further, but you want to make sure that you can still hear me so you can listen to the instructions. Um, 
And so, yeah, so why don't we jump into it? So I'm going to ask that everybody stand up. And if you're sitting and you have to remain seated, you can just kind of prop yourself up so your spine's a little bit straighter. Oh, and I see somebody's got a book on their head. So they have definitely done this, this mindful walking before, which is awesome. Okay, so if everybody stands up, um, I want you to stand up really straight. So your spine's straight, you're not really hunched over and your feet are about shoulder length apart and they're facing forward. And you wanna bring awareness to where you are right now. So bring awareness in the, in the present moment. So you can close your eyes and you can think exactly where you are, how you feel. And I'll let you do that for about three breaths. So now I want you to think about your spine and your posture. So ask yourself, is it straight? Are you a little hunched over? Or are you arched back? And if you are, that's okay, but just recognize it. But I want you to try and feel your spine. And then you want to think about where your head is positioned. Is it sitting directly on top of your spine? Is it a little bit forward? Is your chin a little bit up? And if you have a book balanced on your head, then I can imagine that your head is quite straight on it, the neck. And why don't you kind of move your, your chin a little forward and back and just feel where you feel it in your neck. And really ask yourself, is this a good feeling? What does it feel like? So now why don't you take a bigger stretch all the way back to the sky. So you should really feel the stretch in your neck. You can see Hansel doing it right now. And then you can go forward, backwards and forward. And let's do that a few more times. So you should feel each direction you move it, you should feel some sensations in your neck. And I want you to attend to those and ask yourself, what do those sensations feel like? So now let's bring our head back in between our shoulders and we want to make sure it's straight and take a few deep breaths and, and figure out your alignment in your spine. And if you are a little arched over or whatnot, it's okay, but recognize it. So now we really focused on our neck and our head, and we're going to try and bring some focus into our shoulders and our upper torso. So sometimes when we're tensed, our shoulders might come up. And then when we're relaxed, you kind of feel a release. I want you to pay attention of where your shoulders are and how they feel. Do they feel tense? Do they feel relaxed? And now let's think about our upper torso. So again, where are, is our chest feeling tight? Is it open? Come to those sensations and label them. And let's move down to our lower back. So acknowledge the different feelings we have in our lower back. And you're gonna move down. So you're gonna move down to your legs. You're gonna move down to your feet. So if you guys are wearing slippers, you might feel a soft cushion under your feet. If you're wearing bare feet, the hardwood or carpet on your feet might feel nice. So acknowledge that, that feeling.
And what you want, might want to do is lift your heels. Kind of play with your stance. What does it feel like when you're on your tippy toes? And now I'd like you to scrunch your toes, stretch them out, stretch them back out, squish them back up and release them. Now, finally, before we begin our actual walking meditation, I want you to think of where your gaze is. So I don't want you looking at the floor or all around. You wanna fixate on something. So focus on one thing and make sure your eyes rest there because you want to be focused on the inner, the, the moment. So you don't want too many things in your visual line. So soften your gaze and let's take a deep breath there. Sometimes when I do a deep breath, I'll, I'll count the seconds in. So three seconds in. And then I'll try and do my exhale a little bit longer. So maybe four seconds out. Okay, so now we're gonna slowly get into our walking meditation. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take three steps, but very slow steps forward. So while you walk slowly forward, so let's start with one step forward. And you can continue walking forward for three, two more steps. Notice the sensations as you lift your foot off the ground and place it back down. And you can continue walking back and forth. And feel like what it feels like on your feet. So I noticed somebody said they were in bare feet and some people really like doing this meditation in bare feet because then they can feel the sensations a little bit more in their toes and heels. So now I want you, when you get to the end of your lane, so once you take the three steps forward, I want you to come to a stop. And explore once again the sensations of standing. So do you remember how we felt the sensations in our head, our spine, our posture? I want you to look at those again. And when you're ready, you can slowly, very slowly turn around and slowly walk back to the place you started. So in our walking meditation, you guys can continue walking. We just go back and forth and we absorb, observe sensations in our feet, our legs as we lift them. And when we plant our feet back on the ground. And you can also play around with speed. So if you'd like to go super slow motion, See if the sensations change. And while you walk, I want you to think about your hands. Where are they? Are they swinging? Are they still? So feel the breath in and out as you walk forward. And if you'd like, what you can do is you can match your inhale. So when you breathe in to your step forward and your exhale, when you lift your other leg. And each time your mind water, wanders, just bring it back to the sensations of your body as you walk through space. So really feel the sensations around your toes, the feet as they spread out connected with the ground. You may feel your spine straightening out and how your spine rises with each step. So really explore the sensations in your body. And again, get connected with each breath as you walk. 
So step by step, breath by breath. So again, we're gently walking back and forth with full awareness on each step. And again, if a thought comes into your head, try to turn back to walking. And it's okay, you can recognize you've had a thought and go back into your walking meditation. So let's just do one more lane back. And once you get back to the place you started, you can stand still. And again, I want you to feel those sensations in your body. So flowing from, start from the top of your head. What does it feel like? See how Hansel's kind of moving his neck. That's a great idea. Feel those sensations. And then I want you to slowly move down to your hands, your, sorry, your shoulders, your hands your chest. Sometimes when I feel tense, I feel my chest get tighter and feeling that and attending to that sensation helps me. And then go all the way down to your toes. And I'm gonna let you take three more deep breaths. Okay, when you're ready, you can take a seat and go at your own pace. Slowly come back to the computer. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Maybe do a big stretch, wake yourself back up. I saw some chats um, saying that that got you kind of sleepy and that's okay that can happen so now why don't we open it up to a discussion around the walking meditation and then we can move to a final discussion that i'll hand over back to um hansel and hansel said he got super sleepy so um again that's completely okay that happens and sometimes it's nice because if you have trouble sleeping, maybe that might be a great meditation to do before bed. So I see a hand up from Laura. Laura, did you want to have something to say? I just wanted to say that the walking meditation is one of my favorites to do. I did it with Hansel when we did the Mindfulness Thursday group oh. that I was in. That I kind of wonder we can have more of those well I'm so glad to hear that's your favorite it's also my favorite so I see a lot of hands up but I can't see everybody on my screen so if I ignore you just make sure you you give me a nudge so Cassie Lumala oh you're muted back muted it's Lomala sorry about that it's fine that walking one for me, it felt really good because today I spent the majority of my day on my feet. Okay. So that's great. So I'm glad that you felt good. And what was it that made you feel good? <laughs> just walking back and forth for me just helped me focus on what's been going on, especially at my house right now. Okay. So it kind of brought your attention. You were able to focus, which is a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. And um, Tara? Yes, that's right, good job. Um, I love the walking meditation. I've done it before. I did it with Hansel before this and then I just started doing the peak this is my first time doing it actually mm -hmm. and I'm happy to do it with you guys again 
Awesome. Well, we're happy to have you here, Tara. Thank you. Great. Um, and what about Andrew? Uh, there we go. Oh, hi there. Um, I like the uh, Lotus one. The Lotus one was your favorite? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, the Lotus yeah. one. Yes, with the hand. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what did you feel about the walking meditation? The walking meditation I have done before, and that's a very, and that's a very nice one that makes me feel happy. Great. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to move the discussion along, but first I'll get to Alex and then I'm going to move on to the next question. So hopefully those guys who have their hands up, you can put something in the chat or answer the next question. Alex? Two things in mind. A, we set up straight and we just uh, follow what Hansel was doing. B, we just uh, just did like uh, to turn her, our heads around in all directions and then C we just walk around back and forth and so and and last but not least Caitlin just mentioned that she felt relaxing great and how do you feel thanks so much for that summary that was a great summary no so I'm gonna say uh, calm and relaxing okay so now I want to know more about the sensations you guys felt through that. So where did you feel the sensations the most? In your legs, your feet, maybe your hands? Uh, Miranda? Megan says her hands. So I had a headache at first. Now I feel so relaxed. Yay, that is great. I think it's also from the heat too. Right, yeah. Well, that's good to know. So maybe if you have a headache in the future, you can pull out some of these strategies to use and they, they can help you. Definitely. I know it's going to be on YouTube too. So then I can get my boyfriend to watch it too. Amazing. And I see people putting their, their comments in the chat and I just want to attend to those. So I see the feet, the feet. <laughs> Um, legs, lots of feet. Oh, Laura said her mind, which is beautiful. Um, Laura, I hope that's a good feeling in your mind, a calming feeling in your mind. And somebody said their knees, which is very interesting. Um, feet and um, back helped with balance. So these are wonderful. So it seems like all of you really tuned into those sensations, which is can be very difficult to do. So congratulate yourself on that. Um, so my next question is, I want to know how does this differ from how you usually walk? So do you usually walk like this, Kayla? I see Kayla's hand up. Um, I don't usually walk like that. I usually go for walks with my roommate. And it's very calming when I take my dog, my roommate's dogs for a walk. Or I go for a walk by myself in my neighborhood. Oh, okay. So maybe would you be able to do this the next time you go for a walk in your neighbor neighborhood? Yeah, I do it all the time. Oh, you do? Okay, well, that's great. So you're <laughs> already ahead this, of us. I've been doing mindfulness for a very long time. So Amazing. Well, maybe next time we should get you to lead this session. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I have two Lauras, so let's start with Laura Hill, and then we'll go to Laura L. Oh, Laura, I think you're still on mute. Hello. Hello. Hi, so I find that what makes me feel good is being out with my plants all day. Like, oh. this, um, I work at Walmart in uh, Sylvan, and right. so I just find that on my days off I just want to be with my plants because it makes me feel good and I bought myself a big plant box this year like uh one of the a big raised flower bed and I'm actually making that into a community garden for my area that I live in amazing so I have a lot of, well do I you have know a lot, 
Yeah. Gardening sorry. Is I have a, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a lot of neighbors who are very in very excited to help me with the box and vegetables. Cool. And just well, you know what? Gardening easy. is a very great mindful activity. Thanks, Ooh. Laura. You're welcome. Okay. And Laura L. And then I'm going to end our discussion so we can get to a more general discussion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, I like walking a lot. I go hiking all the time with uh, my mom. And another activity that I do sometimes that I think it can be mindfulness is um, I like to do art. I like to do painting in the park. So I have lots of little art animals that I am going to be painting. They're like little wooden figures cool. and stuff. So well, I find seems, that very relaxing to do. Yeah, that's amazing. And it's really good. Like the other Laura shared her gardening. It's really good for all of you guys to discuss different mindful strategies you use. So sometimes it doesn't mean that we need to do a guided meditation. So now I'm going to um, say everybody did a great job and I'm going to, sorry, hand it back over to Hansel so we can um, end our session with a final, final discussion. Awesome. Thanks, Bree. That was great. Um, yeah, I am so excited to um, be here with all of you. So happy that you guys were able to join us. And I will be sharing with Caitlin sort of some mindfulness websites or some places where we can practice this in our own time as well. Um, so Caitlin, I know I'm not sure if you wanted us to share the password um, or if you want um, if you want to share it on your end. I'm not sure if you're still there. Yeah, you can share it for sure. Awesome. Um, so the password for today's session, so June 1st, is Green Frog. And I'm just going to type it in the chat as well, just in case. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll let everyone write it down for a second. Green Frog, thanks, Starby. Awesome. Perfect. So I think that is all we have for tonight. Um, so I think something to really finish off for tonight is um, I know all of you are super awesome athletes and you practice um, all the time and those are practicing your body. So these are really good ways to also practice and engage your mind. So whenever you can, you know, practicing mindfulness. Um, yeah, that's also a really good tool for us to, you know, feel better and feel relaxed most of the time too. And sort of what Bree said that does also help us when it comes to preparing for games or practices um, or any of those sports that I know all of you are doing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Um, I think we have a few minutes. I know some of you had a few questions. Um, we still have a few uh, minutes, but um, yeah, thank you so much for joining everyone. Have a good night. Yeah, so I just wanna say thanks so much Bree and Hansel um, for doing this session. I know I learned a lot and I'm sure our athletes did as well. So thank you again. Um, are you guys good to answer a few questions for anybody that has them? Yeah, so if you yeah, guys okay. have um, a question, Either feel free to put it in the chat. We have about nine minutes or you can put your hand up. So I know, awesome. I guess, should we just start with, Laura, did you have a question? Are you gonna have another, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, like mindfulness uh, program coming up through the enhanced learning? Um, yeah, I can share some details with Caitlin about some of our future programs, um, and then she can share it with everyone. Um, and then, um, yeah, once we have a little bit more details about the dates, then we can share that with you as well. Okay. Awesome. 
And Laura, I would just say watch for the peak newsletter and um, if you're in the Facebook group as well, because they're using yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Um, oh, we got lots. Alex. Oh, oops. I got our feedback in mind. Sure. So usually I, I just went for a walk for just like 30 minutes or an hour. It could be either that or I could just uh, go for a bike running to do some mindfulness. You know so what? once we get outside and get some fresh air, rather than sitting in a house doing nothing. So Yeah, yeah. And like I think what Bree said with the walking meditation, it doesn't just have to be walking, right? So being sort of aware of our body as we ride our bike or going for a walk, those are all really good places. And for the breathing exercises, um, you know, if you're stopped at a light or if you stop somewhere, that's also a time for you to sort of engage in that and practice that if you have the time, right? So Agreed. yeah, thanks for sharing that, Alex. My pleasure. Awesome. So I'll pass it to Jordan. I like tonight's session because um, it really helps me with all sorts of um, meditation skills. And um, I love being uh, mind mindful and stuff. I love the session that we did in the um, the first part of the session tonight. I really love that. And I they love the walking um, exercise that we did and the breathing. I really like that. And I love going for bike rides and having a nice calm night before bed. Yeah, I also enjoy all of those things, Jordan. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to let, sorry, I'm just trying to, Lonnie. Um, Lonnie's been waiting, so I'm just going to check on him. Yeah, Lonnie. There we go. Um, I, I always take my dog outside in my backyard. Okay? And I, uh, I walk around with him every time. I, after dinner, I always walk around with him. Yeah, and that's also a really good place to do your mindfulness meditation or your mindfulness walk. So with your pet or with um, a sibling or some family member or even a friend. I know it's tough right now, but with, um, you know, a close friend that you see, that's also a really good place. Thanks, Lonnie. That's an awesome advice, too. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so we got a few more minutes. Um, so I'll let uh, Bianca. Is that right? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Yeah. No, you said it right. Awesome. I I really like these sessions because it reminds me to slow down because I usually power walk. Yeah, and that's an awesome way to think about it. It's a really yeah. good way for us to, you know, pause and slow down. That's awesome. That's a perfect way to say it. Thanks yeah. so much for sharing that. You're welcome. Thank you for a great session. No worries. Thank you for having us. All right. I'm going to let uh, Sarah, if you want to go, I know you're there for a bit too. Okay. Um, mine is the, um, the opening the flower one. That one is good for if you're going online, like you can go back flying again. That's a good one to do on an airplane when you're flying because you can get really stressed and stuff being on an airplane for a long time mm -hmm. yeah that, that's awesome too that's awesome advice for everyone i would have never yeah. thought of that yeah. so that's awesome thanks for sharing sarah yeah mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. right i guess i don't know everyone's popping <laughs> um tara do you want to go next I have two questions. Are you guys coming back again for another time or no? Yeah, so a few other um, um, people from our team will be joining for a few of the other peak sessions. I'm not sure exactly the dates, but they will be joining um, for the peak sessions as well. Will you be there as well? Um, I don't think I'll be for the next one, um, but I might uh, still sort of talk with uh, Caitlin and Jill to see if um, I can join any of the future ones. 
All right, we'll do uh, one more question. Um, and then if anyone else has any other questions, um, maybe just let us know uh, later on, Caitlin, and then maybe we can just follow up with them too. Uh, is it Ren? Is that right? Yes. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is completely my first part um, of the third week. Um, this is kind of new to me um, for the whole thing. So I love everything what you did and everyone did, all the staffs of Special Olympics did really well. Yeah, I know. And I, I think I wanna just, again, mention that um, when it comes to you athletes, you guys are rock stars with all your sports. So this is also another way um, to prepare and to practice, you know, um, so it's not doing physical things, but sort of practicing with your mind and your mindfulness. So thanks for sharing, Ren. Of course. Awesome. I love well, hanging out with you guys. Yeah. It's really fun for me. That too. Yeah, that was really fun. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks so much, um, everyone. Sorry that we didn't get to everyone uh, tonight, but um, we will hopefully see you in the future peak sessions. And um, yeah, I'll share some information with Caitlin about our mindfulness programs in the future. And if you are interested, um, you guys can follow up um, with Caitlin and myself, and then I can sort of connect you with, with those programs as well. Well, it was nice to meet everyone. Thank you so much again, Hansel and Marie. No Sounds you, good. Any questions, please feel free to email us or post in the Peak um, Facebook group, and we will try to answer them. Or email me, because I have my email. Awesome. So. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone. We'll yeah, thanks, guys. Have a nice night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.